Um, I am a Datsun Nissan nut. Um, so I have had Datsuns and Nissans since I was a teenager and researched the history when I couldn't find anything about 510s out there. And I'd seen pictures of Nissan Cedrics and I thought, oh geez, that would be a really cool car to have because it was so sort of a crossover between 50s, 60s American cars and the Japanese cars. And it really wasn't anything like that. So I kind of mused about it one day on a, an internet chat group and somebody said, well, I've got one. Would you like to buy it? <laughs> and I, my, my jaw dropped and I went, well, of course I'd like to buy it. So I went down and looked at it and it was a rusty Hulk. It had pieces missing, but I couldn't help myself. And I bought this car. The best thing about this car is it turns heads everywhere. Um, everybody wonders what it is. They, they, the last thing they guess is that it's a Japanese car. They all think it's a British car, an American car. Um, it inspires a lot of questions from people because they don't think it should exist. Oh, um, finishing it was pretty cool, um, but the best thing so far is a day on a TV show. I have this currently leased out to uh, the Amazon Prime uh, drama called uh, Man in the Iron Castle, and it's going to be featured in seasons two and three. And I had to spend the whole first day troubleshooting on a movie set while they used my car in uh, action shots. Um, for the TV series uh, as a, a sort of prime player in the background and a uh, character car in a couple scenes. So uh, that's kind of cool to have a car that's so rare that will go beyond um, just being cool at shows and things like that and, and uh, drop a few jaws on TV as well, uh, going people going, what is that? So yeah, it's, it's, the, it's a question car. What is it?